What is going on guys? It is Knives here and today is the 20th of December 2021. If you've missed all of the previous openings of the advent calendar, they're all over on my channel on the playlist titled Brewdog Advent Calendar 2021. Go check them out and then come back and watch this one. So before we get into the advent calendar, we're gonna take us a nice, healthy wake and bake rip. It's currently about quarter to six at night. I need to go to work at like half past nine, which is shit, but um, here we are doing the calendar now. Cheers, guys. So, day number 20. I haven't actually peeked at this one. Okay, I tell a lie. I did peek, but I couldn't see anything, so I have no idea what's going to be behind door number 20. Let's get right into it. Door number 20 is right down here. The advent calendar's looking a bit worse for wear by now. Um, all the doors are open and ripping in between. But it's all cardboard, so it's going to get recycled after this. Which is a good thing. It's a good job they don't use plastic and all that shit. But yeah, number 20 is right here. I've stopped caring whether they rip in between doors by now because it's just happening inevitably. Thought that was gonna fall over. So we got white space. This is an interesting looking can. New Wave Belgian Wit. 330 milliliters, 4.5% volume. That bong rips fucked my chest up. <laughs> Belgian style wheat beer. White space, 4.5% volume, 330 milliliters. So, I think this can looks pretty funky. It's white, well, it's purple on white with um, metallic silver stripes on it. The rest of the can is just white, but the, um, the writing's in silver, which is pretty cool. I like that. It's a lot better than yesterday's can, which was, uh, ignore what I just said, yesterday's can was the Mallow Laser Quest, that was a live stream if you haven't caught that one. Um, yeah, y yesterday's can was fine. The can that I'm thinking of was, um, I think it was about two days ago, it was just a silver can, had a little bit on the front and it was just shit, but yeah. This looks pretty interesting to me, even though it is just a fully white can. The purple on there is a nice difference. I haven't seen any purple on a can yet, which is really cool. But anyway, without further ado, let's just get into it. Cheers, guys. That's different. It's not different in a bad way or different in a weird way. It's, um, feels a lot lighter than all the other ones. It's not as heavy, not as much taste in your mouth and not as much carbonation, but yeah, it just feels a lot lighter overall. I don't really like the flavour. It tastes like really, really watered down beer. Which is probably why it feels lighter, if you know what I mean. But um, it's not a light beer, it's 4.5%. But it just feels light and tastes a bit like piss water. Yeah, it's all right, but it could be better. I feel like it needs more oomph behind it. It could be dangerous because it's 4.5%. But it feels like either an alcohol free or a very low percentage. So if you accession on this, it could get very, very dangerous. I feel like the name is really cool, White Space. And the can as well backs that up, I guess. It makes sense now that the can is white. It didn't, I didn't even pick that up in my head. White Space, White Can. The, um, the metallic silver shiny bits that are in the middle there in the pattern make it feel kind of spacey. It looks quite space age to me. I'm just chatting out to bollocks now. That first bong rip, I just woke up at five o'clock. So I've been awake for what, 45 minutes? Even though we're smoking on the medical sativa today, that's got me fucked up, man. <laughs> so the white space is gonna get a, let me just taste test it again. See, it's not good though. Cool can, bad beer. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a two. It's got to be a two. This reminds me of um, alcohol-free beer, and it's not, which is like dangerous for one because I've been drinking a bit of alcohol-free recently because um, 
I'm trying to cut down on my drinking. Even though it's Christmas, yes, that's gone out the window now, I guess. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to cut down on my drinking, so I've been buying some alcohol freeze, and they taste exactly like this, which could be very dangerous because give this to somebody, they'd be well within the right to think it was an alcohol free. And if they sesh on this, they're gonna get very, very drunk. I feel like I could drink a lot of this if I wasn't being careful, even though it tastes like shit. It just tastes like beer, you know? But I could drink a lot of it. I don't want to drink a lot of it, but I could. And that's why it's dangerous. But it also doesn't taste good for what it is. Like it has the potential as a 4.5% beer with such a cool can to be a good beer. Like it could have been something, you could have been something, but it's just not. So um, two out of 10, it's gotta be done, you know? So this one's gonna be really, really short. I apologize for that, but um, I'm stupid high right now. I have no idea. I have no right being this high, but, um, and this is a shit beer. So um, I'm gonna go sip it. I don't wanna, you know, down it on camera or else I feel really sick. Plus, I have to work in just a little bit, so um, I need to get this edited and make sure that it's actually posted. So yeah, um, if you like the video, leave a like. We've only got four more days left. Um, I think majority of those are gonna be live streams. Tomorrow there's gonna be a live stream. If you're watching this on Monday the 20th, tomorrow, Tuesday the 21st, I nearly said 22nd then, going to be a live stream at 11 p.m. so make sure you're there but that being said make sure you like the video subscribe turn on all notifications so that you know whenever I go live or when I post videos when I make community posts stuff like that but yeah disappointed in today's beer white space bad voice cracks galore peace